Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 29 of C Programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to compare two strings, whether it be um, comparing if the strings are the same, or if the strings, are, or if like the word comes before the other one in the dictionary, um, like alphabetized. Basically, just comparing two strings, and you'll see how it's useful later on. So basically this program is just, um, it's a different way of doing what I did in lesson 22 with more on F gets. Um, basically I've made a replace return um, function that will automatically get rid of my backslash n in uh, my array. So uh, we do length minus one for uh, the, that's where the backslash n is located, and then we uh, replace that with a zero so that um, basically our backslash n is gone and now it's become the end of the string. So that's uh, what we're doing here. We're just passing on a when we actually make the function. I haven't put the function into the main yet, but when I do, I will pass on a to our replace return uh, function here, and then it will basically get rid of backslash n. Uh, if you don't get this, go back to the lesson 22 tutorial and just see how I did it there. It's very, very similar and um, you should get it anyway. So all I really did was make it its own function. So now on to actually what I wanted to teach you in this tutorial. So um, let's say we want to have sort of like um, a command, our command prompt that we want the user, we want the user to enter some kind of word that will exit our program or finish off our um, main function here. So we want the, we want the user to enter the word exit and when they do, we can continue on to the program, basically ending our program. But until they do that, um, we're going to keep looping until they enter that command. So what we're going to start out with is a printf, and we're going to say, enter, um, enter the exit command. And when we do that, uh, basically what's going to happen is that uh, the user is going to be, or is going to have to enter uh, the command that will exit and that word is going to be the word exit. So what we're going to do is use our fgets to get the, where uh, we want to get the word from the user, so we use our function fgets. Again, this is all in lesson 22, nothing new yet. So we're going to use our a, and we're going to use kmax length, because that's the maximum length that a is. And then again, we use standard input. So now we move on to the next part, which is um, comparing whether the uh, string that we entered is the same as the string we want to get. So there's an easy function and it's just called string compare and it looks like this. It's just strcmp which stands for string comparison I believe, something like that. It's, uh, I don't know, it's probably not directly like that but that's basically what it means, comparing two strings. So the first one you enter is the one you want to compare and then uh, the second one obviously is the one that you want to compare to the one you entered. So then we'll say exit. So what this is doing is when we enter our A, or we put information into our A, um, our character array here, so it will store that, it will get rid of the backslash n when we call our return or our replace return function, which I'm going to do right now. We'll call replace return and we'll put A in there. So this is how it's going to run through. We're going to enter. It's going to prompt us to enter a command. F gets is going to run. We're going to enter whatever um, is in there, but we're still going to have a backslash n. So we run our replace return function, which get which gets rid of that backslash n, and then string compare will compare the string a, which uh, hopefully if we type exit, the thing will end, and um, this is the exit which we're comparing to. So when these two are the same, we want them to end. But string compare has multiple functions that it can do. If we say equal to zero, that means, or sorry, how about we set it to not equal to zero. So basically, if it was equal to zero, that means that the strings are the same. So there's two, there's three possible return types that string uh, compare does. If it is a negative one, that means that the word comes before exit, like alphabetically. So if it was the word apple compared to exit, apple would be um, equal to negative one when this whole function returns because apple is comes before exit in the dictionary. But in this case, 
Uh, we want this loop to keep going as long as these two strings are not the same. So as long as they're not equal to zero, which zero is when the strings are the same, so as long as they're not equal to zero, then we will keep running the program. So let's go ahead and run this and make sure we have no errors, and I forgot my semicolon at the end here, so let's run it again. And now when we run it, we have no errors, so let's enter a command, and let's say we'll enter anything. We'll just say uh, people, and obviously it's not going to work because it's not equal to exit. Let's try something else. Let's try an A. Let's try a T. Uh, let's try, I don't know, Apple. See, nothing works until we enter the magical word exit, which is the one it's comparing to. When we hit return on this, our program ends, and that is the end of our program. So that's how string, um, or string compare works, and that's how you can compare two strings to each other very easily. Um, if you have any questions on this tutorial, please leave your uh, questions in the comments below, send me a message, and I hope I made it clear enough. Again, if you don't get anything from the uh, replace return function, just look at the lesson 22 tutorial, and I'm sure you'll understand how I went about doing this. But if you do have any questions, please leave uh, your questions again in the comments, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope you enjoy future tutorials. Alright, see you soon.